a little shout out to my peeps. Welcome to another Power Packed Phillips podcast. Today's podcast is going to be on your notes. Just a friendly reminder. Don't forget, your 10 question packet is due next Tuesday. You do not have any homework from the workbook today. If you want to, you may take the packet home to work on it if you are not finished. And don't forget, in Blackboard, I have posted the recorded session from Monday night on problems 6 through 10. So if you need help on problems 6 through 10, go to Blackboard. All right, just a friendly reminder, you need to be bringing in graph paper. We're going to be using a lot of graph paper in chapter 4 and 5. You don't need any graph paper today, but start bringing in graph paper. That way you've got it for when we need it. Okay, today's lesson is going to be 4.2. We're going to talk about graphing linear equations. And I'm actually going to try to keep to my 10 minute rule and make this podcast less than 10 minutes. So here we go. I'm going to split lesson 4.2 up into a couple podcasts. So we actually will not graph linear equations today, but we should get to graphing them tomorrow. So here we go. First thing I would like you to do is I would like you to write the equation three x minus y equals seven on your paper. Please write the equation three x minus seven. Oops, my bad. Haven't had any coffee yet. Write the equation three x minus y equals seven on your paper. All right. The question is asking us which ordered pair is a solution. So we're going to use a strategy called guess and check. We're just going to guess an answer and we are going to check it. So you have the equation 3x minus y equals 7 on your paper. We want to know which of these ordered pairs is a solution. So think of ordered pairs as an x and a y. An x, a y, an x, a y, an x, and a y. So if you would, please write the ordered pair 3 comma 4 and then write x comma y on your paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to guess that this is the correct answer and I am going to substitute 3 in for x. They were touching each other here, so that means multiplication. So I'm going to put in my 3. Now I am going to substitute 4 for y. Now I'm going to substitute 4 for y. Make sure you put the 3 in for the x, the 4 in for the y. Okay, now I am going to follow the order of operations. So order of operations says that I need to do multiplication first. Three times three gives me nine. Copy the rest of your problem. Nine minus four equals seven. Well, I'm thinking that nine minus four is gonna give me five. And I'm thinking that five does not equal seven. So this is false. Since it's false, a cannot work. So think of it this way. If the ordered pair does not make a true statement, the ordered pair is not a solution. This ordered pair, when I substituted in, did not make a true statement. It made a false statement. So it's not a solution. So think of it this way. The ordered pair that I just showed you is like this key. The equation is like the lock. This key is for a car. The key will not fit here. The ordered pair did not fit because it did not work. Alrighty guys, I tried 
choice A, it did not work, so I crossed it out. Now I'm going to try choice B. Guess and check. I'm going to take the 1 and substitute it in for x. They were touching each other, so that means multiplication. Now I'm going to take the negative 4 and substitute it in for y. So I'm going to take the y out. I'm going to put in a negative 4. But Mr. Phillips, there was already a subtraction there. Yeah, that's nice. Get over it. You need to put in a negative 4. BRB. Alrighty, I'm going to follow order of operations. So I'm going to do my multiplication first. 3 times 1 is going to be 3. I'm going to pull down the minus and I'm going to pull down the negative 4. Be a thief, bring down the 7. Now you should remember that when you have two negatives in a row, two negatives in a row turn to, into a positive. Excuse me. So that turns into a positive. Do it again. I had two negatives in a row. They are going to turn into a positive. Now, 3 plus 4 does give me 7. I have a true statement. Since I have a true statement, I know that choice B is a solution of the equation. If the ordered pair makes a true statement, the ordered pair is a solution. So, true statement, this is a solution. False statement, cross it out. Now I have found a key that fits the lock. This key will fit. Since this key will fit, this is like the ordered pair that does work. Alright guys, hope you understand the beginning of lesson 4.2. Make sure you've got graph paper tomorrow. We'll do some more graphing. See ya.